guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's video is a review of the Nip and Fab Salicylic Fix range. So they kindly sent me five items from the range that they recommended that you kind of use together in a routine. So this is a range I have been using in December and I'm now going to share my kind of thoughts and feelings around using all this and results and things like that. So I took pictures before I started using the range and then I've taken pictures now that I've finished using the range for this month. So I've not actually got any makeup on my face right now. I've got eye makeup on, but nothing else. Everything else, my skin is just what it is. And there's quite a bit of a glow, and I think that's coming from one of the products in particular, which I'll talk you through. So the first product in the routine, of course, is a cleanser. So this is a salicylic fix gel cleanser. It's 145 mils of 4.9 fluid ounce. You can see I've got two about here and there. So it is a nighttime only cleanser. So they do recommend that you just use this once a day in the evening, which is what I have been doing. And I'm gonna show you the texture and, and kind of how it like forms up a little bit and things. And we'll talk about the ingredients and how I found this product. It says gently cleanse and purify the skin with a salicylic fix gel cleanser with salicylic acid to lift away dirt, impurities and excess oil combined with allotonin to provide a moisture barrier and lock in hydration use at night and wake up to a bright refreshed complexion this has got salicylic acid allotonin and niacinamide so i was a little bit nervous using a range that is basically targeted for oily blemish prone skin now i have got kind of combination oily skin and i do get blemishes so it kind of makes sense for me but I've always kind of shied away from these specific products that are like targeted towards blemishes and acne and things because I've always worried it's going to like dry out my skin and make my skin look really dry and things, which it has with other ranges I've used some time ago now. I've not used anything like this for quite a while. But luckily I didn't find that with this particular product. So let's have a look. So it's in a pump style bottle. I would usually do a full pump for my face, but as I'm just showing you, I've just done a little bit of a pump there. They suggest that you apply it to damp skin, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of water so you can kind of see how it gently, gently foams up. Put a little bit more on there just so that we can see the effect. So it's not so much a foam, it's a really, really fine foam. I don't know if you can see that, but essentially it just like goes together and you can see how it just smooths nicely onto the skin so you didn't get any kind of like pulling or anything like that and then i just either rinsed it off or took it off with a cloth so i've just dried my hand there so it's nice and soft and it's got a little bit of radiance to it so with this scent wise i would say the range smells kind of a little bit watermelony to me and i really like watermelon so it's quite that's a nice surprise they all do smell quite nice um and I can smell a little bit of it actually on my skin, which I certainly never noticed when it was on my face, but I can smell it now, it's on my hand. I like the smell, so it's all good. But yeah, so I'd start off with the cleanser. I would cleanse on damp skin. Sometimes if I did have makeup on, I would use another cleanser first just to take all my makeup off and then use this for the actual kind of treatment phase. And then I found I would dry it. And my skin didn't feel like dried out because that's a big concern for me. When you're using products for oily or blemish prone skin, some of them do feel like they dried your skin out and you feel like you need to stick some moisturizer on straight away or else it's really uncomfortable. Didn't really feel that with this. And then what I would do is I would go in with one of the other products. So there's three other products that were intended to be used just a couple of times a week. And I'm going to talk you through those. So the next one I want to talk to you about is the Salicylic Fix Facial Scrub. This is 75 mils and 2.5 fluid ounces. So it says, with that salicylic acid to chemically exfoliate the skin and volcanic rock scrub to physically exfoliate, the salicylic fix scrub is also infused with lotus flower and vitamin E to avoid stripping the skin. The result, a soft, radiant and revived complexion. It's got salicylic acid, vitamin E and volcanic rock scrub. It says to gently massage onto damp skin, avoiding the delicate eye area and rinse with lukewarm water. So what I did with this is I just used it kind of every other night and I really liked it. I just didn't feel like my skin needed it any more than that. I think you probably could use it every day. It certainly doesn't say you can't, but I felt like once was enough and it was quite effective. So this is what the product looks like. It has got some like little scrubby bead bits in here. Again, it has that lovely watermelon smell, but not anything too kind of scratchy or anything very very gentle you know you get some scrubs and they feel like they're literally like you're running your face down tarmac or something but this is super gentle so I just rinse that off and dry it and again the skin just feels really kind of soft and happy 
I found this was particularly useful for sort of getting in around the nose and anywhere that you had like a little bit of texture or dryness it seemed to really kind of help and um, remove those like little problem areas and things and then it just made the skincare put on after it sink in a little bit better once I'd put this on I found. One of the other products I was alternating at night so after I'd cleansed was the Salicylic Fix Pads Night. They also do an extreme version but these are the standard version. These were probably my favourite item in the whole range. I really really liked these. So they come in a pack of 60 pads and like I said you're just using one every other day or every couple of days. It's not one that you use every single day so they should last quite a while actually. So they are pre-soaked little circular pads. They've actually got these like little textured knobbly bits on them as well and you would just quite simply smooth all over the skin just to get the benefits from this and again I just felt like it really made a difference this was one that I would use it and the next day my skin would just feel a little bit more radiant and I do think that's where I'm getting a lot of this kind of shine from so obviously usually you can see I've got shine on my forehead and things because I've just done skincare and I haven't put any like makeup or anything on usually I just dot that down a bit with a bit of powder but you can see the glow in the skin can't you stop breakouts in their tracks with the salicylic fix night pads formulated to reduce breakouts with potent salicylic acid and a skin protective complex to support the healing process of active breakouts to speed up recovery time. They've got salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid and phytofuse rejuvenates which is what speeds up the healing time. Then I've got your kind of serum treatment type product. So this is the Salicylic Fix Concentrate Extreme 2%. Containing 2% salicylic acid to reduce the appearance of enlarged pores and niacinamide to improve the appearance of uneven skin tone. The Salicylic Fix Concentrate Extreme 2% is your go-to for clean, fresh and purified skin. It's got salicylic acid, niacinamide and lotus flower extract which supports in the control of oil production. It says gently massage two to three drops onto a cleansed face and neck. For best results, use once to twice a week. I was using it twice a week and that did feel like enough. So this is definitely a product you wouldn't need too often. So it comes in a dropper style bottle and it's this gorgeous pink colour. So it's like a lovely kind of pink colour and it's got a little bit of kind of something. So it's not just like a water texture, it's somewhere between a water and like a really light lotion, almost like an essence feel I would say. So you just kind of smoothed it on, again, smells amazing. So I kind of experimented with that treatment. Sometimes I would put it on after I had used either a peel pad or a scrub, other times I did it just after a cleanse and either way it felt okay. So I guess it depends on how your skin is behaving. If it's really breaking out really oily, you might need to sort of do either the scrub or the pad and this. Otherwise you can just use one. But like I said, I only used it twice a week and it doesn't half make your skin feel soft. I've literally just put all these things on my hands and my hand feels so, so soft. And the final product that I tested from Nip and Fab is the Purify Protect and Replenish Anti-Pollution SPF 30 Moisturiser. So this isn't necessarily just to go with this range, you could just use this anyway and having used this I think you could use this even if you had less oily kind of complexion or like a normal skin that I think you could use it. I think you could probably also use it on dry skin but I think you'd probably want an additional moisturiser underneath it if you're using it on dry skin. So this is a 50ml or 1.69 fluid ounce size. A daily use moisturiser containing SPF 30 tailored to oily and congested skin for maximum hydration and protection. Shield your skin from environmental aggressors, UVA and UVB rays and atmospheric pollution in our all-in-one moisturiser. The new Nip and Fab Anti-Pollution SPF 30 moisturiser is the perfect addition to the salicylic acid fixed regime thanks to its lightweight, non-greasy feel. It's formulated with an anti-pollution complex. It helps to provide a breathable barrier against pollutants while chicory root extracts help skin appear more elastic and more supple. A skin purifying complex also works to visibly rebalance the complexion, reducing the appearance of oily and congested skin. Manoi oil helps to leave the skin feeling replenished with a weightless hydration that sits perfectly under makeup. This non-comedogenic moisturiser has been developed with your pores in mind, meaning it is unlikely to result in pore blockages and reduces the appearance of blemishes. It's got chicory root extracts, which is known to help the skin feel more elastic, an anti-pollution complex, which works to provide a protective barrier against pollution, Manoi oil, which is rich in vitamin E, and is a natural antioxidant known to help moisturise and soothe skin, and it's non-comedogenic, which means it won't 
clog pores. It's lightweight and moisturising without leaving a sticky residue. They do recommend if you're using a salicylic acid product or their range at night, you do need to go in with an SPF the next day just to protect the skin because obviously your salicylic acid is resurfacing the skin. So the last thing you want to do is resurface new skin and then go out into you know the atmosphere and like the sun's rays and things are gonna cause all kinds of havoc and irritate your skin and you know age it and things. So obviously going with an SPF. Now this, I was actually really, really happy with the results from this. So it's in a little pump style applicator and I found just a few drops of this. It just sinks in so well. It's insane how well it sinks in. You can see how much glowier this hand is where I've put it versus this hand where I've not got the SPF on. So I've got this on my face today and I really think this is what gives the glow to the skin and it really does work well when i have put makeup on with it the makeup's gone on like a dream i've not even needed to use like a primer or anything so you can just see how easily it sinks in and like i said it just leaves that kind of glowy effect so i'm really really impressed with the effect i've got from this so i have still got some like marks and things from where blemishes have been but and i'll show you the before and after pictures i did have a big breakout here that really does seem to have kind of disappeared almost. It seems to have resurfaced the skin. Yes, I've had a few more breakouts come out, but actually the one I had there, it really kind of calmed away and took away most of the mark there. So it's it's done a lot of resurfacing as well during that time. So let's have a look at the before and after photos. So I'm gonna put them side by side so you can see what it looked like before I started using the range and after. really impressed with is the price point on this range it's really affordable and actually the effects I have found have been pretty good so obviously I'm pretty happy with this range there isn't any of the products that I wouldn't be happy to use again and in fact some of them were real standouts the particular standouts for me it's kind of hard to choose I really like the moisturizer but I also really like the cleanser and I really like the pads and I did like the scrub as well and the serum did some good so it was all good really I'm pretty impressed and for the price point considering I usually use much more expensive skincare I've had really good results from this range so I'm pretty impressed so hopefully you can see how my skin is now so I'll link everything underneath they do actually sell this range of five products as a bundle so you actually save £25 by buying it as a set rather than buying them individually, which basically means that your SPF moisturiser is free if you do want to go for the whole range. But yeah, definitely check out the website because there are some really good deals. Like I said, this routine was sent to me, but I am, of course, free to let you know my thoughts as I always do and you can see I think the results kind of speak for themselves. Let me know in the comments if you used anything from Nip and Fab. Have you used this range and how did you find it for your skin? If you enjoy watching beauty brand reviews I will be using a different range every month of 2022. If you want to see the before and after and my thoughts and reviews on all these different products and ranges make sure you subscribe to the channel. So I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!